My name is Timothy Birch, and I will be doing a brief tutorial on how to make a simple health bar in Flash. The first thing we're going to do is go to File, New. Be sure that you have Action Strip 2.0 uh, highlighted there. Press OK. Okay, so we're going to go to the right to the Rectangle tool. Click on that. We're going to make a rectangle. Okay. Then we're going to right click on the rectangle and convert that into a symbol. I'm going to name the symbol Team 5 Health Bar, but you'll name it accordingly to your project. And in the type here, be sure to have it selected as Movie Clip. Press OK. And then we're going to look in the Properties tab to the right and change the instance name as well. I'm going to name that Team 5 Health Bar underscore MC. All right. And remember that this name for the instance is very important because it will be referenced in the script, so be sure everything that you typed is exactly the way you intend it to be. Now we're going to double click on the rectangle. Oh, well that didn't work. First we have to uh, select one of the selection tools. So if you have that same problem, you just go up here to the right, select the selection marquee, and it'll allow us to select the symbol. We'll right click on that. You'll see that there is a kind of a staticky image over that which lets you know that that is selected. Now we're ready to edit this. So we're going to look in the timeline window down here at the bottom. If you don't have that already up, you just go to Windows tab up here, click on timeline. It'll be unchecked and it'll check it and then it'll appear at the bottom of the screen. So then next we're going to lock this layer and create a new layer. Okay, in the new layer, uh, we're going to create another bar. So be sure to choose another color, choose green, with the rectangular tool, and make your new bar. Be sure to convert this to a symbol, and we're, I'm going to name this SF bar, and be sure that the movie clip type is also selected. Press OK. Go to go to properties, name that instance SF bar underscore MC to coincide with the other one. And then we're going to create a new layer. In this new layer we're going to select the text tool, which is on the right. We're going to go to the properties tab here and set this text tool to a static text. If it's already set to something else, you'll just go down and check text. And here you can choose your font style. Uh, the size and the color. So we want the color to be something a little different. We'll just go with red. And just go ahead and go into the new layer here. And I'm going to type health. All right. We can also move this around here. Then we're going to make a new layer, and in this new layer we're going to select the text tool again, set its property to dynamic text. So we already have this text tool selected, go to properties, choose dynamic text, and we're going to type in 100%. Size this so it'll fit. And of course, you're going to be placing this wherever it's appropriate for your design. This is just kind of like a generic uh, example. Next, we're going to click on the sub selection tool and select 100% that you just made. So go to the sub selection, click on this, select that. And under the properties tab, give this text an instance name team5 health underscore mc. That's for this. Um, tutorial. Of course, you'll name it appropriately. And now we're going to lock all the layers. 
We're going to make a new layer. And we're going to double click on this new layer. We're going to name this layer Actions. And we're going to click on the first frame of the new Actions layer, which is right here. We're going to go to Window, Actions. And in the text box in the Action window, enter the code that is provided in the wiki. So it's going to be the exact action script that you will paste within this area. Where I'm not going to be doing that right now. It's just showing you the steps. So go ahead and do that. And then you'll save this file and name it appropriately. I'm not going to make a saved file, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel. And then also you want to be sure to export this out as a movie as well. And this uh, first save that we did is going to be a .fla file, and then the export to a movie file will be saved as a .swf, which will be then imported into UDK which utilizes .swf files. All right, and then the next thing we can do, which I'm going to cancel out of the save, is we can test with the uh, scale form launcher to make sure that everything will work in UDK. So push that. Oh, well, actually, I have to save this. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and name it something. go ahead and we'll also add export to movie. Actually it will be an SWF. Save that. Alright, so it exported to movie. Now we can test it to make sure it will work. Alright, so it will work. There are no problems. And that will conclude this tutorial. Thank you.